next nine lessons, we're going to be covering subtraction. Now, subtraction isn't a bit harder. Than, it's it's not, e not even a little bit harder than addition. It's just the opposite. In math, everything has its opposites, and subtraction is the opposite of addition. So, if you're a little bit, if you know your math pretty good, the next nine lessons are going to feel a little bit like a, a bit of a digression. It's going to feel kind of repetitive and dumb, and so these lessons are going to be a little bit shorter, well, significantly shorter than the additional, the addition pro problems that we had before. And so, and that's because you know the abacus by now. You know how to move your fingers around. It's going to be a lot easier for you. And so we're not going to spend as much time, but we do need to cover the the subtraction. And this is, you know, because you're, you're an expert by now. You know your addition, and this might seem a little bit too easy for you. But don't worry about it. Just kind of go through the lessons if you feel like you need to skip a part. I guess you can go ahead and skip it. But still, I suggest that you work at least work through the problems on the worksheet just to get used to it to get your fingers moving through the motions and so that you're familiar and you're not fumbling around with the abacus if you really want to use it so we're going almost all the way back to the first lesson in addition and we're going to cover just basic subtraction which is the opposite of addition so, you know, when we added something, if we, you know, right now the abacus says zero because there's nothing touching the center bar. When we add something, we move it towards the center bar. And now that says one. Well, you probably guess if I'm going to subtract, I'm going to do just the opposite of that. And so since this says one and if I want to take away one or subtract one and make it say zero, I move it away from the bar. See, that's easy. Piece of cake. Addition, subtraction. When I add, I move it towards the bar. When I subtract, I move it away from the bar. Piece of cake. I know you can handle that and it probably seems, seems dumb that I'd even say that, but just in case I am saying it. Plus one, minus one. Addition, subtraction. <laughs> Add one, take away one. As easy as that. Add two, take away two. Add three, take away three. Add 30, take away 30. Add 1,324. One and take away one. That's how, easy as that. That's how we do it. So let's start with the ones. Here we go. Let's, uh, the first problem, three minus one, three take away one, however you want to say it. So if I'm going to take three, if I have three and I want to take away one or subtract one, then all I do is move that down. And what do I have left? Two piece of cake. Clear the abacus. Put two on there. This is, let's do two, take away two, or two minus two. That means I move two beads away from the center beam. And what am I left with? Zero. An abacus where none of the beads are touching the center bar reads zero. But of course you know that. Let's just do a couple more. Four. Four take away or four subtract four minus however you want to say it. Four minus three is that means I have to take away three beads, move them away from the center bar, and the answer is one. Four minus three is one. Piece of cake. Okay, clear the abacus. Let's do two minus one. Well, you, I know you can do this in your head because you're smart like that, but two beads minus one means I take away one of the beads and what am I left with? One. Three minus two. Take away two beads 
and all I'm left with is 1. So 3 minus 2 is 1. 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. There's two beads left touching the center beam. So the answer is 2. And that's it for this lesson. That's all we're going to do. I know it's really easy for you. Go through the lesson and just practice a little bit of your subtraction. The important thing to recognize is that in math, there's opposites. And subtraction is the opposite of addition. So go and print off your worksheet and work through the problems and take some time going through each of them to get your fingers used to doing subtraction.